Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm hanging out with the Raccoon Squad and I thought I'd bring you guys along. So let's do it. They're so cute. how this recent videos someone commented that they didn't recognize me with my new hair color I haven't changed my hair color <laughs> it's like faded you know I let it kind of pastel out the fact that you guys think it's a new hair color just lets me know girl it is time to touch it up and I don't know I thought I'd bring you guys along for a little bit of a journey I'm not gonna do like a full-on tutorial type thing I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of the process let's do it I need to brush my hair out first and you guys know how it gets when I do that so let me just not show you guys that again because I don't want you guys to see me like that anymore <laughs> well hello again it's good I'm gonna show you guys my lion self again I'm a lion when I brush out my hair this is my hair dyeing t-shirt we've been together for a long time <laughs> Gotta lay down some plastic because if not, I promise you, I will stain everything in my way. <laughs> purple, blue, purple again, green, turquoise. Yeah, I saved my leftover hair dyes that I don't finish. coconut oil okay 
hair foil. I always go with the darkest color in my roots. Foil, come back. Where do you think you go? I chose you for this section of hair, okay? So be nice. I think I'm gonna do green. We're all in this together. One, three. I kind of just pulled down the darker color. Then I get another foil. Purple. Purple, purple, purple. Oh, you guys can see that. There we go. Actually, we're gonna pull up the purple. Because the purple kind of overpowers the green. And throw it back. And I already stained myself. Dye your hair is messy. It's not glamorous. It's not pretty. It's hard. It takes hours. But if you do it right, then you look badass. Is it worth it? Yes. Huh. If my gloves farted. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue and I don't know, I'll be back. So it's been about like uh, an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the foils. I'm just like pulling at them. It's not really releasing color anymore. I'm squeezing it and nothing. My hair already absorbed most of it. So the bottom is like purple. Here, like at the very top, I did like mostly purple. In the middle section, I kind of interchanged green for this like blue. It's a very small difference, but uh, it gives my hair dimension. Oh my god, there's another foil here. <laughs> You guys heard her, right? Like she actually is like pecking at my feet because I'm talking. She likes attention. <laughs> hey guys, so it is now the next day and here's how my hair looks now. Cute. I love hearing from you guys, like in letters. It's like more personal. Oh my god, my cat is using the litter box. <sighs> so this one is from Addison Johnson. Ooh. Okay, what do we have her? Oh my god, it's cute. <laughs> it's little one. <laughs> that is just so adorable. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Addison. And oh, there's more. <laughs> Hot cocoa. I'm totally using that hashtag now. On top it says, please read on camera. <laughs> Dear Step J, my name is Addison. I'm nine years old. I love your channel. Aw. My favorite dogs are Yorkies, Pomskies, and Huskies. I have seven animals of my own. Two guinea pigs, sugar and cookie, one hedgehog, quill, one crested gecko, one chinchilla, titan, one parakeet, pineapple, one ball python, slither. <laughs> oh my god, are you a potterhead? I love your channel and all of your fur babies and shelled ones, turtles. <laughs> My favorite animal in the world would be a panda. I've watched your channel for about six months now. Oh, if you can, please write back to me. If you can't, that's okay. Girl, of course I'm writing back to you. Like, <laughs> that's not even like a question. Love, Addison Johnson. And then down here we have her social media sites. Girl, of course I'm gonna be following you in all of those. Well, I don't have the last one, but the first two I'm gonna be following you in. Thank you so much, Addison. Okay, this envelope is just so beautifully decorated. Like, look at this. She pimped it out. Yes, I love it. So this is from Keila Strood. Inside we have a beautiful letter and oh, what is this? That's the bed if you guys can hear her. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. I love it. This apple snail is a coloring page. Enjoy. So do you want me to color it? 
Thank you very much. Dear Steph J, hi, my name is Keila. I am 11 years old. I love to draw, dance, film, and always have an animal within arm's reach. Tell me five facts about yourself. One, I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is hard. One, my favorite color is purple. Two, I love to watch chick flicks. That's like my favorite kind of movie. <laughs> Three, my first pet ever that I have memory of is a bunny. I was like, uh, I don't know, probably like four. I came home and there was bunnies. Four, I'm bilingual. I don't know why, a lot of you guys don't know that I speak Spanish. I speak Spanish. <laughs> Not very good, but I speak it. <laughs> and five, something juicy. Something that you guys like would never like think of me. Um, okay, the fifth fact, I'm actually gonna make it a challenge, so. So there's one animal that I fear like my life for. I just like, I have this unexplainable phobia towards this animal and I challenge you guys to guess in the comments down below let me know what animal do you think I'm afraid of <sighs> just thinking about it <laughs> go ahead and leave your guesses down below <laughs> okay back to the letter I love your videos keep up the good work thank you the first video I watched of yours was the I rescued this kid from the streets now watch him grow <laughs> the serious one um, ever since then I've been subscribed here are some questions Oh, more questions. Wow, your letter was good. It's challenging. About how old were you when you first started adopting slash rescuing animals? See, I've done it like my whole life, like um, since I have memory. I remember when I was about like nine, I took care of a whole litter of kittens. So the mom was my cat. Uh, she was a stray and like I started feeding her every day and of course she stayed with time um, her belly started growing <laughs> yeah she was pregnant and then she had her kittens and then like four days later I don't know why she like wandered off to the street and got ran over we lived in this property it was like a one acre property she had a lot of room to roam right so it wasn't that I don't know what made her want to go out to the street she got ran over and died like at the scene and left a litter of like seven kittens and I had I stepped in and bottle fed them and it was really hard I would start with the first kitten and then by the time I was like in the fifth kitten the first kitten wanted to eat again and then I would never get it was it was a lot I mean I guess there were more like before that but that's like my first um, real memory of like making a difference I guess you could say so that's my answer. What animal was your first pet? Oh, well, I already told you, the bunnies. They're the first animal that I have memory of. But my first pet that was like just mine and not like the family pet was a hamster. For I think like my 10th or 11th birthday, someone gifted me a hamster and he was like all mine. Yeah, his name was Nico. I loved him. He was a teddy bear hamster. Well, Syrian. A Syrian hamster. He was awesome. I would take him to school. And I remember this one time I took him to school and he got out of his cage. And then we heard in the intercom, the principal made an announcement that they found a hamster walking in the hallway. They were saying, whose is it? Come get it. It's in the front office. So I had to go get him. Like, he was quite an adventurous hamster. I loved him to bits. And I really miss owning like rodents. See, I really enjoy like rodents. Like you guys ask me all the time, why don't you have hamsters or rats or mice or guinea pigs or you know like rodents and I absolutely adore them. The problem is they don't live long enough in my opinion. Like they're so awesome and they only live a few years. So that's why I don't really keep them anymore. But a few of you actually know that I do plan on getting a hamster here pretty soon. So yeah. So to answer your question, a bunny was like my first pet that I have memory of, but I was too little to like care for him, right? So he was like the family pet. But my first pet that was all mine was a hamster. Three, what is your top three favorite animals? They can be wild or tame. Like there's like so much. I love birds because they're just so like majestic i really like vultures actually i think they're so badass a lot of people don't like them because you know of their eating habits and like they mean death and whatnot i really like vultures though i like eagles i like hawks i like owls I love macaws. I'd love to own one one day. Cockatoos, parrots, any kind of parrot really. Um, so 
so birds i like birds a lot for wild i would say birds um for tame i think i'm gonna have to go with cats i love cats my cats make me laugh so much they're always up to no good i mean there's a reason why there's like a bajillion funny cat videos on the internet right <laughs> so for the third one i think i'm gonna go with like a uh, reptiles i like iguanas i like snakes burmese pythons are my favorite uh, i love retics black throat monitors are awesome and don't even get me started on tortoises and turtles this is hard you gave me hard questions why <laughs> I'm gonna go with an Aldabra tortoise just because they're awesome <laughs> and I've already mentioned them before as being my favorite turtle so yeah I hope you enjoy coloring because I drew you a coloring oh my god I am supposed to color it <laughs> can you please do a time lapse of you coloring it I'd love to see the result it is going to look awesome Aww. <laughs> thank you for starting this amazing channel Steph I also have a YouTube channel called Kila S I will link it on the video that this letter is in love you Kila. okay girl i am waiting on that link because i'm finna go subscribe so as soon as you see this leave that link and thank you so much for the sweet letters and the coloring page and your questions were awesome even though they were hard to answer they were awesome and yeah let me go color now